Michael Thompson. Hey Heather, this guy wants to know about the chemical structure of natural toxins. Do you have a picture? Yeah, come over here and check it out. Do you also know how it gets absorbed in the human body? Yeah, it's, it's absorbed through the skin and attacks the nervous system. To add to that, the chemical is taken from poisonous dart frog skin and is absorbed from touching the frog or by the frog leaving the poison on an object and then the human touching that object. But I don't really know what happens in the humans. Well, some biological effects on the humans include numbness in the human tissue, muscular and nervous depolarization, and heart failure. Bachelor toxin sources these properties by means of action potential. Action potential happens through absorption. The membrane potential is acted upon the unequal supply of ions across the membrane. The moving of these ions along the cell membrane is measured by voltage-gated sodium and potassium channels. When bacterial toxin reaches the pore of the human skin, it causes an irreversible change in the channel's makeup, so the channel is permanently open. This transformation permits ions to freely pass through, which causes a loss of the sodium-potassium concentration gradient. Don't fall asleep yet. We still have the most important part, how it's distributed in the body. Batrachotoxin is distributed in the body by the bloodstream. The organs which are targeted are the lungs and the heart. Batrachotoxin affects these organs by inactivating the sodium channels in nerve and muscle cells, which interferes with the electrical signals that are sent throughout the body, causing fibrillation, cardiac failure, and death. Batrachotoxin binds to the sodium ion channels of nerve and muscle cells. The channels become completely depolarized and are unable to send out signals to the brain to close the channels. To add to that, since bacterial toxin is a relatively new study, there is currently no antidote. The only treatment available is in tetradoxin, which is another neurotoxin found in the puffer fish. Like bacterial toxin, tetradoxin binds to the same voltage rate as sodium channels, but the binding reversely closes the channels instead of permanently opening them. Doesn't this result in slowing the effects of bacterial toxin? Yeah, tetradoxin would be an antagonist, but because it binds to the same grade as sodium channels, the binding reversibly closes. Does your brain hurt yet? Take a look at this picture of the poison dart frog. They're only about 2.4 inches, which is about 6 centimeters. Pretty cool, eh? Who cares if his brain hurts? He wants to learn if it's detoxified or toxified. Bacterial toxin does not get tox detoxified because it is a substance that cannot be transformed into cell substance. Therefore, once the poison gets absorbed, the presence of such substances in the body can serve only as disturbing elements. They are foreign bodies and must be expelled, often at great expense to the organism. Heather forgot to tell you that the chemical stays at the same toxic effect throughout the body. The foreign compound becomes a re reactive metabolite and detoxification fails. I'm pretty hungry. Oh, thinking about food, I'll tell you how bacterial toxin gets metabolized. So factors that affect the chemistry toxicity depends on the weight of the human being, whether the person weighs a lot or a little. Brian, don't be so judgmental. There are no physiological factors related to humans. The chemical can be ingested by anyone and will cause the effects in any shape or size. Bacotoxin is a neurotoxin which adversely affects the purpose in both evolving and mature nervous tissue. It can block neuron control over ion concentration across the cell membrane. Before you get too bored, check out that video that Heather found over there.
think we've talked about where it's found and what it's used for. Oh, okay. Well, Bazutoxin is found in the jungles of Western Colombia in the poisonous dark frog, also known as Violibus terribilis. The chemical is used for arrows from Indians. The Indians coat the tips of their arrows with poisonous of the dart frogs by rubbing the arrows on their backs. A human is exposed to the chemical when the physical contact with the frog. Bailey, do you know how it is exposed and also the no observable effects limit? Yes, the chemical acts instantly to a human when the frog is touched. Children are more vulnerable to the toxin because the lethal dose is related to a 150 pound person and a child weighs less than that, it will have a more adverse effect. Testing the LD50 in a 20 gram white mouse has a lethal dose of 0.5 micrograms. The poison dart frog omits typically 1,100 micrograms of this compound, which contains enough poison to kill more than 20,000 mice. The LD50 is the lethal dose, is about 180 micrograms for a person. About the weight of two grains of salt, or two to 7.5 micrograms, when administered by a jet of injection, the ADI or TDI and the no observable effect limit are not present at this time. Since we're in Western Columbia, let's go see if we can catch a frog and make some poison darts. There it is. To get the poison, you gotta light the skin, get the poison to the surface, rub it with the stick, load it in your dart, and then you're ready to shoot some animals. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Are you okay? Get out of here.